Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avrin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Fix RB1 snowboard binding. I rode this binding at Arapaho Basin on a day that just had just about every conditions thrown at it. You had overcast skies, pockets of blue, chopped chunder, zero wind, moderate winds at times, ice, slush, you know, everything that's out there. And I rode it on my ride shadow band board with my K2 Thraxxus boots. So let's talk about adjustability on these bad boys. You got flip tabs on the toe and the heel. So flip it up, lengthen, shorten the strap to center it over your boot, tighten it back down. High back has a forward lean adjustment. The toe is on a push pin system. So you got to push it down, pull it back up, lock it in. Yes, there is a pad on the bottom of this binding. Then on top of all that, you have two set screws on the side these will loosen the heel cup so you can pull it out or slide it in as well as house the high back rotation. One thing to note, those screws are very in there. So be prepared to use some serious muscle. When it comes to the straps, these are molded, which means no excess padding. They are not going to stretch and break in. They are just going to lock you in. When you feel the heel strap, it feels very malleable and you're like, this is very soft it's not going to be that rigid. But when you tighten it down, you notice that with that spine through the middle, it really is secure and locks you in. This is the stiffest binding that Fix makes. And with this strap, you feel very locked in. With the toe strap, it's very reminiscent of Union's TS 4.0. This will grip just about any boot shape as long as you have it centered right, or you could rock it over the top, just like TC does. What I liked about it was, they're very minimal, they feel secure, they lock you in, you don't really notice any pressure points with it, and they just work. The flex of these, while they are the stiffer straps from Fix, especially that heel strap, it's not overly stiff. It's You can still drive into it, you just get some good response. The ratchets are super smooth, you got that one finger quick release, they climb well, they stay locked in, there's no excess play in them, they just work, and that's what you want. With this being the stiffest binding from Fix, the high back is rigid. There is a little more give on the outside. It's also a very minimalist design, so don't expect any excess padding. This also doesn't have a lot of curvature to it, so it's a little more broad, so it'll fit a wider boot better than a narrower boot, just so you're aware of that. But at the end of the day, it's a high back. It does high back things. You're able to drive into it, get the power you want out of it. The forward lean adjustment works good on the fly. You don't have to worry about it, and that's what you need. So the overall flex of this binding comes in just past middle of the road, a little on the stiffer side, but not overly stiff. It's not like a full blown free ride charger. It's just more like an all mountain binding that's a little bit more responsive. So you do have slightly stiffer heel strap and high back. So when you're driving into that, whether you're going toe to heel, you're gonna get a little bit more power. Laterally, they don't have as much give as say the Truce or the Nation, but you can feel that there is some give. They do have a bigger disc, which means a bigger dead spot. So more response once again, underfoot. These are a smooth binding. They're not overly damp, but they're like just right. You'd feel some chatter underfoot and that pad on the bottom of this really does help dissipate it without making this feel like a dead lifeless binding, which is what you want. I like the fact that it does an okay job. It's just enough that you're like, oh, I'm not getting foot fatigue, but I can still feel the board underfoot. And that's kind of the response you want with it. Who's this binding for? The all mountain freestyle guy. So I've kept my eye on Fix since they've come out and I've tried a few of their products and finally was able to get a lot more to ride and re-rode the truce, which was nice looked at the Nation, looked at the Magnum, but this, the RB1, is their flagship binding. And it shows, there's a lot of really good tech in this, and they keep it to a minimalist design. There's not excess moving parts, which you don't want. You do not want extra moving parts in a binding. The one thing that I think is weird is that the foot pad actually pulls up from the front instead of the back. It's a little different. It kind of differentiates it from other bindings out there. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Personally, I just don't like it. Overall though, Good binding. Like I could see myself riding these every day and not having to worry about it. Comparable bindings, the Ride C8, the Union Force, the Rome DOD. 
This has been my review of the Fix RB1. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own a pair? Are you going to buy a pair? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this binding. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avon Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.